Hi. Um, well, as some of you may or may not know, I'm currently 4,000 miles from home. And we did record a live episode this week, but there were some technical hitches and issues. It's not up to my best standard. And I wanted to, before showing you this week's live episode, offer you my heartfelt apologies. Which, being that it's the internet, you could give a rat's ass about. So, I'll perform my penance in another way. <clears throat> there! Hopefully, this will appeases you. Thank you for tuning in each week to watch my fish. Now enjoy this week's live penis. There's somebody who doesn't really get to be on the show anymore. Because, you know, I have an eight-year-old sleeping next door to me when we're on the show usually now. But he would like to say hello. Oh, no. <laughs> Recorded version, that part where you can see my fat ass going through my cabinet. Whereas I have a girlfriend sleeping in the next room, and I have to be quiet during this entire segment tonight. So you're like me, and I'm like you. <sighs> kind of, It's yeah. like an 80s buddy, body swap movie. Well, that would just be disturbing all sexy. parties involved. Uh, I'm just gonna have to trust though that you're gonna cut out that bit where my fat ass is going through my cabinet. Yeah, I'll cut out the fat ass. Is it, it? If anyone's wondering why everything's all goofy like this, it's because I'm in Manchester, England, right now. Manchester, Manchester, and I am currently streaming via a remote connection to my computer all the way back in Sherman, Illinois. Which is I know how he does this because the one night I had to cover for him for an hour, I had to use this setup, and it's really convoluted and hard. But it works. It does work, Except but Skype. I can assure you guys that what's happening right now is really fucking complicated. All you Except can see is, but uh, all they can see is your butt. That's all. She, that's a, the typical cat just showing you her butthole. That that sounds about like pretty much on, you know. Yeah. Cat yeah. We'll bar. give her. We'll give her her favorite toy. That's not actually a cat toy. My nail file. Somehow she gets that at sea. My nail file brings all the kitties to the yard, and they're like, "It's better than yours." She loves that fucking thing. I don't know why. And tonight, I'm actually going to have to read the stories from my laptop because trying to read them off the screen would be a disaster. So I've got two computers, and a this is taking three computers right now, and four if you count tariffs. Yeah. Hi. So everything is going that way. Boy, I don't know. Talk amongst yourselves. Show them the cat. Something. Something. Save me. Um, what are you giving a kitty, Adam? Okay. She's not really, she's not really paying attention because I think she spotted a bug. God damn it, Bridget. If you're going to be a part of this show, you need to pull your fucking weight around here. Right, Bridget? Come on. Tell some jokes. Tell some jokes. Tell them that okay. one about. Tell them that one about the other cat you know. No. I say vamp. You All better right. vamp. All right. Well, we could do we could do hippo again. 
Oh, you got no talent. Okay. Shall we do the segment in this fucked up headache that it is? I can't shut him off mid orgasm. That's just mean. Also, there's physically no way to do that. And now we're just like off in a huff. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Good God. What else did I, what the fuck else is going to not work? I try so hard. I did my best. I want to do my best. Speculate as to what else is not going to work tonight because that would be rude and unseemly. No, not that. What? What? Ah! There's a kitty where you are. Yeah, there is. Where's your Stop kitty? That. Where's your kitty? That's not my kitty, it's, it's the girlfriend's kitty. Well, yes, but where is the girlfriend's kitty? Probably outside killing things. They oh, do that. Is that We're just killing my chair. It's her nemesis. <laughs> I really got this to work. Okay, oh, this week. Catherine, the radio dead air audience club, well, the worldwide interweb slides, all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a little second. We like to call what the fuck is wrong with you. And this week, if I can get my shit together, that's what we're talking about this week. If I can get my shit together, there's a story we're starting with this week. There usually is. A great and grand story, and there's I wanted to save this for the end, but there just was no way to save this for the end. This, this cat is going to set its own, I guess, for tonight. Oh, God, I have to send you the link. How can I send you the link? Uh... She's going nuts with the snail file right now. I wish I could show you. Going nuts with the nail file. Hmm. How do I send you a link? How do I send you a link? Um, oh, wait, I can still use... She's my mice, and she's going to town on my nail file. Um. Ah, I will use Mike. Mike, are you there, Mike? Mike, my producer. You are going to be our instant message transfer for the stories tonight. Can you dig it? Can you dig it, Mike? Yeah, okay. make yourself useful for a change, Mike. Start pulling your weight around here. It's not well, all aside, about terrible requests, you know. Aside from scarring the audience. All right, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Shit. All right. Not that well, one. Okay. okay. Well, we'll start with this one then, because I screwed up. Hooray! Oh, well. Yeah, this is one of those, another one of those, that doesn't go there. Only, it kind of worked out. But this is the story I've dreamed of from the other no stories. Oh, uh, it's got to, you got to shut it off. It's got to talk to thing. But I don't see it. Oh. Right in the center. Right. There. Shut up. Handcuffed office man shoots at officers using gun from butt cheeks. And, you know... That is impressive rectal control. <laughs> I don't think he shot them with his butt cheeks, although that would have been amazing. Oh, that would have been fucking amazing. I think he just had a gun in his butt. Oh. Because that's what I dream of every time I hear these stories about the chick with the gun shoved up their vagina. That they'll be like Rose McGowan in, um... Planet, the, the, the planet, yeah. The, planet, whatever. 
Oh, Grunt. She had the gun for a leg, except, you know. That would be amazing. All right, let me read this story out to you guys. Um, read it over here. Okay. Suspect hides gun after arrest despite search. That's the part that's killing me here. They searched him, and he still managed to go deeper. A report released Monday shows Denver police officers searched a drunk suspect repeatedly before he opened fire at them after his arrest. Denver police say the suspect, 32-year-old Isaac Vigil, that is Vigil, yeah, was being transported to the police station in handcuffs when he pulled a gun from the crack of his buttocks and fired at officers. A report released by the Denver District Attorney says that Vigil fired at officers twice before his gun jammed. Yeah, the gun was a little constipated. <laughs> he, that means he had a loaded gun. In his butt. That his seems gun. unwise. That does seem unwise. And yet they weren't able to find it. Well, it says they searched him, not did cavity search. So while he was handcuffed, he was back there. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Thinking. Oh my God. Ugh. He basically had to shit that gun out. He had to poop it. And then get into his pants somehow while handcuffed. Mm hmm. Why am the CIA? What? This guy should be in the circus. This guy should be in the CIA. Yeah. Uh, engineering dude, that shit must have hurt. What happens if your colon turns off the safety? <laughs> Just don't put loaded guns inside your person, I think. Yeah. It's a good it's a good general rule. Don't put loaded guns inside your person. Speaking of putting things inside your person. Oh, my goodness. You are not a pocket. Coming through. Moving. Coming through. Thing. Get over here. Behave. So yeah, this was the story for this week that everybody sent me. Everybody immediately wanted me to know about this one. And now I am going to share with you. Let me send this to Mike. It's like Mike. a game of telephone. Yes. We'll get this work somehow. We'll make it better for next time. Not the, not that story again. God damn it. Don't you understand what control... I'm copying. Control C. Stupid British keyboard. Control C. Yes. I built this one up. I know. It's horrible. We're all off tonight. I don't care. This Hold is the on. one everyone wanted you to see. Student gets stuck in giant stone vagina. I was hoping we would do this one. And I have to say, obviously, the pictures. Of course, this is American student in Germany. The pictures do tell the story, don't they? Oh my god! That looks like kind of a sun damage vaginal area there. Ladies, always wear sunblock on your vulva. I'm sorry for this in advance. You do not want your vulva to look like a Birkin bag in five years. It, it's coming. It's being channeled through me. I can't stop it. This is this is what my youth has done to me. They look like good, strong lips, don't they? I 
I don't understand that reference. Never ending story. Never, never saw it. Never saw it. Never saw the never ending. Story. Believe it or not, I've never seen the never ending story. I know that's hard to believe because I've seen every movie in the history of the world, but not that one. What a catastrophe! Oh God, really? Um, I guess. I actually have this one on my laptop. It was meant to be funny dare turned into utter embarrassment for an American exchange student who found himself trapped in a giant sofas. I can't even read that sentence out loud. Giant stone vagina in Germany. Firefighters had to be called to deliver the man in first to safety. Oh, really? The writer's having fun with this. Can you tell? To deliver the man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the man named man is believed to have been dared to climb inside the sculpture, which sits outside the university, university's Institute for Microbiology and Virology. But his legs soon became wedged in the carving, and despite laboring to free himself, the experts had to be summoned. Did they get like. I will say. Ninja gynecologist? That I'm this? impressed. In, think about if somebody tried to erect a statue. Erect. <laughs> um, think about if somebody tried to place a statue of a giant vagina. And let's be it's a giant vulva, it's not a vagina, but whatever. No. Ever, on an American college campus. Think of the fucking uproar. I'm kind of impressed that this thing even exists. I mean, it's Europe. They're different than us. Think of how many kids would get stuck in it every fucking day. But, but it would never get built because no. the fucking like Christian coalition would be storming the offices. Like, this is and the like end of civilization before, as we know it. And like you said before, he's an American. Of course he is. I, by God, he's going to show the world just what we're all about. Because the rest of the world is not as 12 years old as we are. <laughs> Must be quiet. Um... Everything I want to say is just going to make me louder, and I should stop. Freed the man by hand without use of equipment. Like forceps, maybe? Uh, it's not the kind of equipment I was thinking of, but... Okay. <laughs> Clearly, you've never had a vagina. <laughs> Clearly, yes. Um, Jesus Christ. That, that is, all right, if your friend ever dare you to do something not your friends not your friends isn't there i feel like somewhere else there's an installation where you can walk through a giant vagina yes they, they, they've done that yeah and then of course there's that shakira video where she's dancing inside a giant disco vagina yeah it's not like it's unheard of, but maybe when it's made of stone and small, that that sentence is going in a direction I don't intend it to. <laughs> maybe if the vagina you're dealing with is stone and small, no, no. Just don't, don't penetrate statues. <laughs> God. All right, what are we doing next here? All right, let's see. Um, How did I not make the Maude Lebowski joke? Oh, Obsidian, thank you. My art has been committed as being strongly vaginal, which bothers some men. The word itself, some men uncomfortable. Vagina. Uh, You'll happily refer to your rod or your Johnson. This one comes in the wake. I was asleep on the job there. <laughs> this one comes in the wake of the uh, the um, World <gasps> Cup. Oh no! Yes. Oh yes. Police investigate wheelchair fans seen jumping to their feet. 
So what happened was they bought um, tickets from a scalper, and then to avoid getting hit by security, they went through the handicap way. I think I've mentioned this before. There's a service now where wealthy families can hire a disabled child to go to Disney World with them so that they don't have to wait in the lines. This is a thing that wealthy people do. You can hire a disabled child to go to, on your Disney vacation with you. And the deal is they get a Disney vacation and the money. And your end is you get to skip all the lines because you have a disabled child with you. Because people are fucking despicable. And let's, just, and let's just exploit the disabled so that we don't have to wait in a line. Jesus Christ. So I mean, this is beyond that. They went to the special area that was supposed to be reserved for wheelchairs and took those up. And uh, not only that, apparently, according to uh, the police, they were looking around in the crowd and they saw people where, you know, the senior citizens were supposed to be. And they were a lot less wrinkly than they should have been. This isn't like fucking handicap parking at the grocery store, you guys. It's the World Cup. It's huge. It only happens every four years. It's enormous. It's a giant security thing. Like, this is not a small thing. Yeah. You know, it, it's one of those things you have to say. Someone decided that day that it was so important to see this football match live that they were going to be a despicable creature. Or to have they, better seats and get in quicker. Because you could yeah. have gotten the shitty seats. Why are you... I mean... That, uh, uh, you're going to a game with rules and sportsmanship and a winner and a loser because it's based on a referee. And what do you do? You go in breaking the rules. Well, let's be honest, this is also a sporting event where the players are famous for faking injuries. Like, people watch okay. for the theatrics in which they okay. try to fake foul calls. Like, a guy breezes by and, hit and misses him by an inch, and he's like, oh, my elbow's broken. Like, let's not, let's not talk about the great sportsmanship of FIFA, okay? Fair enough, yes, I see. I suppose. Um, I am disorganized tonight, kids, and I apologize for that. But don't worry, things are gonna are bound to get weirder. I promise. Um, we've had my Calvin and Hobbes quotes. I like to make everybody's day a little more surreal. Speaking of surreal, um, I did it again. again. We've had all sorts of attempts to get things through customs and the TSA, and it, strange ways of smuggling. This one just makes me sad. I don't want to get Mike to send it to you. There you go. This just makes me sad. Let me pull it up on the big screen here. Skulls found in teddy bears. At Mexican airport. And yes, they were indeed trying to smuggle shirts. I didn't know teddy bears had skeletons. <laughs> Maybe Bridget, do you have a skeleton? I think Bridget has a skeleton. Bridget. Oh, we know skeleton. We're asking Minnie Bridget. That would me out with an Irish brogue if I knew how to do that. <laughs> Although I imagine Irish cats meow pretty much the same as any other cat. Inspectors discovered two skulls and other human remains hidden inside teddy bears at a Mexico City uh, shipping company. Uh, company employees made the find when they ran the plush bears in an x-ray machine during a routine inspection. The human remains appear to have been recently exhumed. Authorities contacting the rest of the Anderson package who said he bought the skulls at popular downtown Mexico City markets. Skulls are in demand because 
people abroad who practice Santeria, which is a Afro-Caribbean syncretic religion. And what the fuck is any of that? So they were trying to skulls for Santeria? Yeah, fucking Giovanni. Fucking Giovanni. Anyway. Okay. You go into work one day, and I'm stealing a joke for this one. Bear with me. You go into work one day it's alongside your uh, your compatriot, and your job for the afternoon is stuffing recently exhumed human remains into teddy bears. And at some point, you look over and say, "Steve, I, need a new I job. think we're the I I think we're the bad guys." <laughs> There's just, there's that. You gotta wonder if it's time to start surfing monster.com at that point. <laughs> there's nothing about no doing that. Monster.com. I think this is one of the most repulsive, non sexual, fetishy things that I've ever just had on the show. There's nothing that is, isn't just wrong about that. And do you know, like, you know how long it's going to take to re-identify them and return them, and where the hell did they get them? Like, are they just digging up random people and stuffing their skulls in teddy bears? And <laughs> what if that luggage got That's... lost and that teddy bear ended up in the hand of a poor child in Zimbabwe because it got donated and it has a skull in it? That's the way the teddy bears have their picnic. With skulls in their stomachs. But think about that. Like, you know, it gets lost at the airport. It gets thrown in a bin. All the shit in the bin gets donated at the end of the month. It winds up in some poor kid's hands. He would be the child. most popular poor kid in the... Just everywhere. He would be... He would be totally popular. traumatized. When he gets over that... This is more traumatizing than the suicidal teddy bear on Supernatural. It's close, though. It's close. This is amazing. This is just one of those... A human being consciously thought there was nothing wrong with this plan and tooled along like it was the best thing in the world. I just... Well, we've got another plan here. And it, uh, it it comes from a kid, so I I blame him a little less, but he's a little bit of a shit. There's no other way to define this. You have told me you had bad experiences with the dead. I had bad experiences. You just did not want to go. It's a bit of an understatement to say I had bad experiences with the dead. I had a bad experience. <laughs> I'm not sure you'd be willing to go quite this far, however. Boy fakes kidnapping to avoid the test. Oh, oh, I would go this far. Oh, my God. Um, the fear of the dentist made people do strange things to avoid having their teeth checked, yes, including inventing a story you have been kidnapped. Uh, as one boy in France did recently, police spent a month investigating his tale. A uh, 12 year old boy in the uh, Alpine village, St. Gervais, even uh, went as far as telling police he had been kidnapped so he wouldn't have to see the tooth doctor. The youngster was picked up by police who spotted him hiding as they patrolled through the village during the afternoon of May 21st. When quizzed by police, the youngster immediately said he had been abducted from the nearby town of Bagnalls. Uh, he even gave officers a detailed description of the man who had abducted him which could have turned out so badly if it matched anyone's description. If it just happened to look like someone. Um, the kidnapper was also wearing a black shirt and light jeans. And boy was able to hand over details of the car he was driving in. And what happened during the abduction? The officer who was going to his death appointment when a man pulled up to ask for directions after brief Changed. The boy said he was forced in the man's car, but he sped off. Police treated the case seriously and spent the last month investigating this. I can't help but respect and fear this kid. 
he he had his plan. He stuck to his story. He was under interrogation. He had the he had the little details, but not the big details. He had the right ones just to put the certain yeah. ring of truth in it. This is like a super villain. Yeah, this is our next Vladimir Putin right here. I just. And the fact that the police had to spend a month looking for the, you know, you got to imagine how many of those guys, yeah, who like the description, were arrested. That's a lot of resources, and the, I mean, where it becomes a problem is that's a lot of resources that were not being used to find actual missing children or abductors or whatever. What do you think his parents are going to do with him? Oh, he's going to be grounded forever. I for don't think. I don't think that's going to be a deterrent for this kid. He's only ever leaving the house to go to the dentist again. But they know him. The only reason he leaves the house for the rest of his life. Oh no, he'll pull some Dexter's lab shit. You watch that. Yeah, it's true. He might be too smart for them. <laughs> I mean, really, that that's just... Of all the, the reasons I could have come up with an excuse just to go with a felony... You know what? I respect it. <laughs> I've had some bad dental misadventures, and uh, I, I feel his pain. I get it. Okay, our last one tonight. Plain old-fashioned, good old American, red-blooded, crazy. Uh, Get this one over to Mike so we can get it over to you. And of course, it's from our favorite place in the entire world. The island? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's from Florida. Oh. It's from Florida. I put that up on the big screen. Man blames weed and Red Bull. For attic assault on neighbors' undergarments. Now, this actually is really kind of fucking creepy. What are you saying? What? What? Assault on undergarments? He assaulted someone's undergarments? <laughs> oh, he's he actually arrested. He's <laughs> arrested a man. Uh, they say he accessed his neighbor's adjoining apartment through the ceiling to steal items. 33-year-old Michael Kearns was arrested Monday and charged with burglary. According to uh, Manatee's uh, County Sheriff's Officer, victim Jennifer Lopez, not that one, um, and her son heard sounds coming from the attic. Uh, son also noticed that a neighbor's Hearns on his balcony shaking dust off himself. Lopez then called the Sheriff's Office. Investigators contacted Hearns and met with him Monday and admitted to climbing through his attic and taking whatever he could reach the ceiling. He also admitted he fell through his own ceiling upon returning to the apartment with a security deposit. He blames the incident on diet pills, alcohol, marijuana, and Red Bull, but admits that he knew what he was doing was wrong. Yeah, that's kind of a magic combination for trouble, isn't it? <sighs> diet speed, pills. Speed. Oh, upper. Speed. Booze, downer. Red Bull, upper. Mm -hmm. Heat, downer. Yeah, I, it's, it's... His it's brain like, was probably vibrating in his skull. Hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait. Got an idea, got an idea, got an idea, got an idea. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Gonna go, gonna go, gonna go to the neighbor's, gonna go to the neighbor's room, gonna go to the neighbor's room, mm -hmm. steal her pants. Perfect plan, perfect plan. Don't know how it's going to pay off, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm kind of impressed he's not seriously ill. I'm just creeped out about that whole adjoining ceiling thing. Well, no, if you're in an apartment complex, yeah. If you're in an apartment, like, I was on the top floor, so I didn't have this thing, because, but... Like, if you're in between the floors, then, yeah, you can go in between where there's vents and beams and all that shit and move from unit to unit. Absolutely. So oh somebody, can, 
somebody could have busted up through my floor, I suppose, at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, I, I'm so glad I live in a townhouse. I don't have to worry about that shit. Oh, Mike. Step one, steal underpants. Step two. Step three, profit. I think it was phase, though. Phase one. Phase two. Phase one. Maybe he got himself so fucked up, he thought it was J-Lo. And that those panties would be worth something. This is... You know what? Pick a direction and go. If you want to chill, chill. If you want to run, run. Pick one. Don't try to do everything. Because, you know, jack of all trades, master of... Let's try not to use panties, Jack right now. What? Let's try not to use the word Jack right now. <laughs> yeah. And underwear. Yeah. What kind of tools? Well, you know, people are into some shit. I think we've learned that on, on this show. People are into some shit. It's not Whatever a very good way to court. Whatever pops your balloon. Hmm. As long as nobody else is getting hurt, as long as you're not stealing unwitting people's underwear or anything. It's, it's also, I think. Itself. Wear a diaper thing. and rub peanut butter all over yourself and sing I'm a Little Teapot if that's what gets you off. But, you know, don't involve unwilling participants. You know, it's not a cut. When, when, you, uh, when you go up to your neighbor, I think something, we, something you can all learn tonight. You go up to your neighbor in the apartment complex. It's not a conversation starter to open with, "Hey, I've got your underwear." No, that's that's not going to work. That's girls don't like that. That's a restraining order opener. Yeah. Gee, you know, I found these somewhere in your attic. Yeah. Weirdest thing. Just. Yeah. That's not going to work out for everybody. Yeah, we've also learned that, uh, you know, there, there are some places no amount of lube is going to get you through. Yeah. Oh, hey, the family song. <laughs> hey, neighbor, can I borrow a cup of underpants? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, this was a fun were... adventure in technical difficulties. Yeah, it was. We, we've learned we're that. We're going to the shit out of this shit. Yeah. You got to go? No, no, no. No, no? Okay. We, we learned that um, police searches need to be a little more thorough sometimes. I don't think that's fair. Like, unless the justification of cavity search, they're not going to cavity search everybody. Thank God. Also, if it's ever a bar bet, people, yes, you can, in fact, shit a gun. We have proof. But you might not be able to get out of that vagina. No. That's sad. Be careful what orifice-related bets you make. We've learned that kids will go to some tough lengths to avoid the dentist. So it's, you know what, you should do like, like you do with your pets. Don't, don't say the word dentist anywhere around the kids. Just tell them they're going for a ride in the park. And then put them in a carrier? Put them in a carrier and take them to the dentist. And that would probably work out a lot better. <laughs> and we also found out someone somewhere has the job of stuffing human remains into teddy bears. Into teddy bears. It's That's terrible. A job. Like I've had some bad jobs. That's a bad job. It's like you go home at night and you're just like, so, well, I guess I wasn't using that soul anyway. What's on TV? This is how computer trolls are born, because we are not using that soul anyway, so you might as well spoil every movie for everybody on Reddit. Hamlet for babies. Oh. 
โอ้โหเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี